Hello, everybody. Trying to give you guys an update. I got a lot of stuff going on here and not very much time to do it, so doing the best I can. And right now, I've got two Makos cameras in here. One is a USB camera only, and one is an HDMI camera. And I'm talking to you on the HDMI camera right now. I found some differences between OBS for Windows and OBS for Mac. And this is being recorded on my Mac Mini. On the Mac Mini, I don't have control over the USB camera. I mean, it's got filters and stuff, but I don't have control over the actual camera. So this particular Makos camera actually has an OSD where you can go in and adjust the colors and such. Now, I got a whole bunch of stuff I'm tinkering in, so this isn't a review on this camera yet. I'm still learning about the camera, but I wanted to kind of give you some, some information on what I'm doing right now. And one of the things I'm doing, I've got a Mac mini and a mini pc both running on the same monitor using the same keyboard and the same trackball and you just move when you move the pointer from one screen to the other it moves the keyboard along with the pointer which is kind of nice so i'm gonna kind of switch over to my iphone i don't know how much difference there's going to be in the audio on this but i'm going to switch over and show you some footage on the iphone of what's going on now i don't know how much audio difference there's going to be in this i don't have time to hook up a an external mic on my iphone right this minute but here's the two macos cameras we've got them both set up you know, relatively close to the same distance. One of them has a wider field of view than the other. You'll just have to excuse my mess. I'm still in the experimental stages with all of this stuff. But I'll show you what I got going on right here. This is a, a Samsung 34-inch ultra-wide high-definition monitor. And my white balance doesn't work. I'm on the narrow lens so I can get all of this stuff in there. And the white balance doesn't quite work uh, when you're doing that. But you can see the pointer when it's over here, then everything functions on this side with the keyboard. Let's see if I can get the keyboard up here. And this will show you which keyboard is active. When I move over to the other screen, the pointer comes over and then I'm active on the number one. Now you can manually switch these back and forth or you can just let it switch over with the pointer. And if you can see, the mouse pointer is white when I'm over on the PC side, and then it's black when I'm over on the Mac Mini side. And it doesn't show on the, uh, the keyboard doesn't show, but when I move over here, it'll say that I'm disconnected from the keyboard. It does show me I am actually active on the keyboard on this one. When I come back over, I'm pretty sure it'll come back up here and tell me, yeah, there it is, it says I'm connected right there. So that's a pretty good thing. That's a Logitech thing, and it's a Logitech um, flow, I believe is what they call this. And I really like this because I, I want the Mac Mini in here. There's some features I can use for going through my external hard drives and such that I don't have availability to in the same way. I have this Western Digital SSD. Uh, it's a wireless SSD that I use when I'm out in the field and I want to copy a micro SD card or an SD card. And this, uh, I don't have quite the ability to go through it on the Mac Mini that I do on the PC. So that's the reason I wanted a PC in here. And the other thing is I want to see what is the minimum you could use to maybe start a stream. Now the, the little... This little Makos camera right here was uh, $92, I believe, and it's got a zoom on it. And then this one was $109. It has a zoom lens on it also. I'll show you a little bit about the zoom lenses. Um, I'll have to switch the audio over because I'm using the microphone on the Mac Mini right now. So I'll try to get a little bit of footage to show you the zoom on these two cameras real quick. I might mention I'm testing these two ball mounts also. Um, this one is, uh, both of these are pretty nice, I'll tell you. That one is made by Yolanzi. 
and I don't recall the name on the other one, I'll find it and uh, stick it up on the uh, screen if I can if I can find it. Okay, so this is the list of options that I have on the um, Mac Mini as far as camera properties. But if I come over to here uh, on the little mini PC, you can see I've got a, a configure video option and that comes up with a ton of options. I can turn off the white balance. I can set it to automatic. I can set my contrast. Just a ton of features that I can adjust that are not available on the Mini. And that's why I picked up the second Macos camera because it's got that built into the camera. So those are the things that I'm seeing as a difference right at this point. And if you're interested in any of this kind of stuff, um, let me get back on something else besides my phone. Okay, now I'm recording with the uh, HDMI camera. So I'll show you the zoom on this. And it's manual zoom, manual focus. Oh, it looks like I got some dust on the lens. But it will uh, it'll zoom in pretty close. Might go. Now that's about as far as this one goes. And, you know, that's way closer than I need it for most of what I'm doing. And it's the focus, I'll tell you, the focus on these things is pretty touchy. Now, I'll, I'll give you some footage on the, uh, on the mini PC next. Okay, I started the recording on the uh, USB camera. Now, my audio sync may be off because I, I don't have time to go back through the settings. So if the audio syncs off, I apologize. I just want to show you the zoom on this thing. So here we go. And it was zoomed all the way out. And now it is zoomed all the way in. Let's see if I can get back in the frame. So this this one has a lot of zoom. As a matter of fact, I'll show you. Um, see if I can get this to focus here somewhere. Oops, I'm turning the uh, aperture. Somewhere in here it will focus. I know because I've done it. I had to zoom it out a little bit. I'm a teeny bit too close yeah so zooms way 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 in as a matter of fact uh, just just for funsies I'll show you exactly how far this thing zooms in let me grab something and uh, I'll be right back okay so right there that's the camera is about probably a half an inch from this penny so kind of give you an idea and you could probably get the focus a little bit better than I did but and the lighting is kind of bad because the camera is cast in a shadow on the penny so these are the differences that I'm seeing right now uh, between the the PC and the two cameras one USB and one HDMI and I've got those two ball mounts I want to do some more stuff on. Both of them essentially will do about the same thing, but the Yolanzi will support a lot more weight uh, than the other ball mount will by probably three to one. Not that these cameras are, are too big a deal. The original Makos camera that I got, the one I showed you the close-up with the penny, I got that to do overhead work with, and as you see, I mean, I'm I'm arms length away right now, and all the way down to a half inch, I can find a focal point on it. So for doing overhead work, I think this is going to be a great thing, even if I use it on the Mac without do, worrying about white balance and things like that. I think it's going to be okay. So I'm going to try to cobble this into a video. I'm, I'm hoping I can get this out in the next day or two. I appreciate everybody that's kind of checking on my channel here. I'm just trying to get started, trying to help you guys out, buying lots of stuff. The uh, Here's the little video capture card, the uh, original one that I was trying to use. And the other one, I don't want to wiggle it around too much because I'm actually using it right now. But this is a uh, mirror box, and this has... HDMI in and out, not quite in focus at that distance. Let's see if I can focus that. So this is the one I'm currently using on the Mac Mini. So 
and it seems like it's doing okay. And it does have a, an HDMI pass through that's supposed to be 4K. I haven't uh, checked it out yet to see if that's a fact. I don't have any test equipment or any apps or programs to test the speeds. I'm running, I think, 130 milliseconds of delay time uh, to capture this audio. And the way I did that was just with the clapper board. So. Uh, and it's close. It's probably not perfect. Anyway, I appreciate everybody that's sticking through me through fumbling through all of this stuff. Uh, they're closing the roads on me practically every day up in Wyoming. So I'm doing the best I can do right now and trying to function as a supply chain, working six days a week, getting shut down in Wyoming. So this is the best I can do. And I catch you guys down the road.